our internet. It's a bit of a drizzly day, but we're not going to let that stop us because we're in Rotorua and we're at the Redwoods Tree Walk. Tree Walk? Tree Top Walk. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we get to walk among the tree tops. So you can come back for the night walk. The Redwoods Tree Walk advertises itself as New Zealand's longest living tree walk. The walk is made up of 700 metres of platforms and swing bridges suspended high among the trees in the Whakawirrawirra forest. If you don't like swing bridges you would really not like this walk. There's a lot of them. They're fun though. The lowest platforms are around 9 metres above the forest floor, which is more than high enough to give you a bird's eye view down into the native tree ferns and the other undergrowth of the forest. The trees themselves aren't native though. These are Californian redwoods planted here about 120 years ago as a timber plantation. These may be Californian trees but they don't grow among great big tree ferns like this in California. I find this kind of hilarious because in 1972 they were worried about the first tree dying because of the increased um, temperature of the ground because of the geothermal activity here and so they injected the ground with cold water which saved the tree which <laughs> just seems crazy to me. If I was doing my job properly I'd know useful information like you know how long has this place been here and all that stuff but it's just, this is a fun thing to do in Rotorua. <laughs> Most of the platforms have information panels which tell you about everything from the types of birds you can see in the area to the relative growth rates for redwoods in Aotearoa in California. So we're absolutely not just reading off the information boards to like, make interesting facts for the video, but this tree walk has a starting height of 6 metres, at its highest point is 12 metres off the ground, we haven't got to that point yet. The longest bridge is 37 metres, which is going to be a lot of wobbling. It's 553 metres in length totally, with 23 bridges and 22 platforms. And at the moment we're on platform Waru, was it? Platform Waru, which is Tereo for 8, so we've got quite a few platforms to go. One of the things I'm really enjoying about this, or really appreciate about this, is that they haven't like nailed the platforms into the trees. They're all suspended by these big cables which are just wrapped around the trees. So it's doing like minimum harm to the trees. At night, these are all lit up and you can do the tree walk by night. So we're planning on coming back and doing that maybe tonight maybe wednesday night depending on the weather <laughs> so the different light designs are based on different native new zealand birds we've got the middle middle which is this one and the ruru which is a more pork and the kareareo which is a falcon and i'm pretty sure that should have a macron on it the biggest tree on the walk is 72 meters tall with a girth of 12.6 metres. It's impressively big. It's a tall tree. <laughs> so we have three different types of ferns in this picture. Now, can I get my finger into shot? So down there is, what was it? I have forgotten the name. Keel Keel. So that's Keel Keel. Um, that one is ma Mamaku. Mamaku. And this one over here is Ponga. Yes. 
which is the silver fern which if you've ever seen the all blacks you know what the silver fern is because they have it on their jumper as i was saying <laughs> we're about to go up to the higher level There's an extra loop of the tree walk that's at a much higher level. These platforms are 20 metres above the ground. Maybe don't do this part if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> it's quite a long way down there. Oddly peaceful as soon as you come into this little tree house. And it's like it's quite sound muffling for something that's so open. But it must be near the end. Rua to Kaoma Rua. That's the last one. Back above Carfax. I forgot we get to come back. It's like, I don't want to go down out of the trees. <laughs> the best part of the walk is that your tickets let you come back at night when the forest is transformed into a flickering light show. The tree walk was fun, but the night walk was spectacular. It was a bit too dark for my video camera to pick up much, but I had a lot more luck with some still photos on a very long exposure. Of course, through light adapted eyes, it was even better. Definitely one of those things where you have to be there and experience it for yourself. Those strange hanging sculptures we saw during the day were transformed into lanterns. And there were lasers which created sparkling fireflies across the branches. And an ever-changing light show in amongst the ferns. Everywhere you looked there was something new and magic to look at. That was such an amazing experience and so much fun. Definitely recommend it if you're ever in Rotorua. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internet things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Kaki te internet. Go climb a redwood. <laughs>